Amid rising global tensions, the United States military has taken a decisive step to strengthen its strategic positioning in the Western Pacific by deploying three aircraft carriers. The move by the Pentagon to relocate the B-52H strategic bomber to Guam in the Western Pacific and three U.S. aircraft carriers staging exercises in the South China Sea amid large-scale exercises conducted by the People's Liberation Army's Navy in the South China Sea is not a coincidence but a blatant show of muscle. The bomber, which is capable of carrying cruise missiles and nuclear bombs, took off from Barksdale Air Force Base in the U.S. on Saturday and arrived at Guam after a 28-hour flight to demonstrate the commitment of the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command to the security and stability of the Indo-Pacific region. A B-52H bomber took off from its home station and participated in a maritime integration exercise with the USS Nimitz and USS Ronald Reagan carrier strike groups in the South China Sea before landing at Anderson Air Force Base, Guam, the website of the U.S. Pacific Air Forces reported. The Bomber Task Force demonstrates U.S. capability to rapidly deploy to a forward operating base and execute long-range strike missions, said Lieutenant Colum Christopher Duff, the 96th Bomb Squadron Commander. This sortie demonstrates our ability to reach out from a home station, fly anywhere in the world, and execute those missions, rapidly regenerating from a forward operating base and continuing operations. This move, aimed at deterring potential threats from China and North Korea, is unfolding against growing concerns about the specter of broader conflicts in the Middle East. The USS Carl Vinson is carrying out a training exercise in the Philippine Sea, alongside the USS Theodore Roosevelt and the Japanese helicopter destroyer JS Ice. The Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force confirmed the participation of nine additional vessels in this coordinated display of naval strength. The USS Ronald Reagan, stationed in Yokosuka, Japan, remains at its home port, resulting in three out of the 11 U.S. carriers strategically positioned in the Indo-Pacific. Previously, in 2020, the U.S. Navy deployed its three aircraft carriers, namely the USS Theodore Roosevelt, USS Nimitz, and USS Ronald Reagan, to the Pacific Ocean, sparking a strong reaction from China's state-sponsored media, which asserted that Beijing would stand firm in safeguarding its interests in the region. Furthermore, the state media issued a warning note highlighting China's possession of anti-ship ballistic missiles, such as the DF-21D and DF-26, designated as potential threats to aircraft carriers. Nevertheless, the latest presence of three aircraft carriers came when the United States treaty ally, the Philippines, became embroiled in territorial disputes with Beijing in the South China Sea. Rear Admiral Carlos Sardiello, commander of the Carl Vinson Strike Group, affirmed the readiness of the carrier strike group to execute a comprehensive range of operations. He emphasized the strategic importance of training opportunities in the Philippine Sea, where large, capable, and agile platforms can efficiently aggregate. During the exercises, a Chinese naval spy ship was reportedly detected 5 to 10 miles away from the Carl Vinson suspected of collecting intelligence on U.S. and Japanese capabilities and operations. Despite this, Rear Admiral Christopher Alexander, leading the Theodore Roosevelt strike group, downplayed concerns, saying that the presence of Chinese Navy ships in the congested waterways did not pose a threat. Additionally, the U.S. Air Force B-52H Stratofortress engaged in bilateral training with the Japan Air Self-Defense Force over the Sea of Japan and East China Sea on January 30th. The deployment of carriers reportedly planned months ago reinforces the U.S. military's unwavering commitment to the Indo-Pacific region amidst regional tensions. Increasing apprehensions within the United States and its allies center around the possibility that Chinese President Xi Jinping might instruct his military to seize Taiwan in the coming years. Taiwan, a democratically governed island, is regarded by China as its territory. Beijing, asserting its commitment to unify with the self-governed island, has not ruled out the potential use of force. Lai ching Te, a member of Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party and known for his skepticism toward China, emerged victorious in the presidential election held in mid-January. His election has prompted Beijing to categorize him as a perceived threat to regional peace. 
U.S. officials say President Xi has mandated that his military be prepared to take Taiwan by 2027. However, analysts widely perceive this directive as an effort to motivate the Chinese army rather than an actual timeline for invasion. In addition to the Taiwan situation, the United States is grappling with concerns related to North Korea, which continues missile launches and deepens defense ties with Russia. Consequently, the U.S. military is conducting a comprehensive assessment of its readiness. Furthermore, joint efforts with allied countries have been underway to enhance the logistics network through various military drills. As reported by Reuters, U.S. war games have revealed a strategic concern that China could target jet fuel supplies or refueling ships to incapacitate U.S. air and sea power, bypassing confrontations with heavily armed fighter jets or the sinking of the American fleet of surface warships. To counter this, the United States aims to diversify its regional military logistics hubs, including establishing warehouses in Australia. The Pentagon has asserted that the Department of Defense, in collaboration with allies, is actively working to enhance the mobility and distribution of U.S. forces. However, the U.S. Navy announced on Saturday that two strike groups with the nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, USS Nimitz and USS Ronald Reagan as their flagships, would begin cruising in the South China Sea. The U.S. Pacific Fleet said that in the course of air defense and airstrike operations, aircraft carrier strike groups with frigates will practice against possible attacks by the enemy. Bombers, including the B-52H, along with intercontinental ballistic missiles and strategic nuclear-powered submarines, are regarded as the three major nuclear weapon delivery platforms of the U.S. B-52H bombers can carry up to 31 tons of explosives more than 6,400 kilometers and can carry out its mission alone. The B-52 is the backbone of the U.S. bomber force. It has a history of more than 60 years. The U.S. military is expected to use the B-52 bomber until 2050. Wang Yanan, an expert on aircraft and chief editor of Aerospace Knowledge, told the Global Times on Sunday that it is not a coincidence but collusion between the redeployment of B-52H and the maritime drill in the South China Sea in order to display the U.S.'s long-range strike force in Guam. It is also aimed to show the muscle of U.S. aircraft carrier battle group. Wang said that the U.S. military is apparently aiming to show off its muscle. By conducting massive military exercises in the South China Sea, they intend to show their forces more clearly to China. The U.S. previously deployed B-1B bombers, which carried long-range anti-ship missiles for patrol missions, while B-52H bombers have showed different powers in different exercises depending on the subjects. The most powerful display of the B-52H is in live-fire exercises at sea, while the bombers also have the ability for air refueling and loaded cruising. The B-52H strategic bomber was deployed again in Guam after three months. On April 17, the U.S. military withdrew five B-52H bombers deployed at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam from the Guam base. This is the first time the B-52 bomber has been completely withdrawn from Guam base since 2004. The redeployment of the B-52H to Guam further embodies the U.S. military's combat concept of a dynamic force employment. Its purpose is to make major military deployments unpredictable, so as to make potential opponents such as China and Russia nervous. Therefore, it can be predicted that the redeployed B-52H strategic bomber will perform cruise operations in the waters near the South China Sea and the East China Sea to flex their muscles. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video because I appreciate all your support.